First, welcome back to free engineering tutorial on operating system. So in previous video, we had discussed about hardware synchronization implementations. Now in this video, we will discuss about semaphores. So basically there are two types of semaphores. One is binary semaphore. Okay. And the other one is counting semaphore. So binary semaphore will take account of just two processes executing or requesting some CPU resources at one time. But counting semaphore will take care of n type of processes or n process. Okay, so this will work for n process. Okay, and this will work for only two process. Only one is executing and the other one is waiting. Okay, so the first thing is that semaphore will take care of all three conditions which is needed for synchronization. Means mutual exclusion, progress and bounded waiting. Okay. So now coming to the point how semaphores are being implemented or are being used. So it will be used by just two functions. One is wait function and the other one is sing signal function. Okay. And these both functions are being implemented on one integer type which is known as semaphore int or semaphore variable. So this is a type of int. Okay. And this is known as this s is known as semaphore variable. Okay, so when one process is coming, this signal will be decreased by one. Okay, so what I'm basically saying is that if there is volume of the room, let's say this is laboratory. Okay, so in binary semaphore, we can take the case of laboratories. At one time, only one person can go inside, and the other one has to wait. Okay, so when first person is coming, it will come, okay, it will come inside as it will, it will, as it can show or as it will watch the flag as empty for the laboratory, it will come inside and will change the flag to engaged, okay. So when one person is inside, the flag shown on the door of laboratory will be engaged. After it will go it will signal that the laboratory is empty. So that same thing is happening in operating system also. When wait is called, it will change the empty to engaged. Okay, S minus minus. Means there is no room for any other person. So you can see that from here. If one process is there, S is equals to zero. Okay, so now the condition will be true and it will reduce the number of processes which should come after the process is s minus minus means s is equals to minus one if s is initially zero it will change to minus one okay now there will be no process which will come after this zeroth process okay now if this process wants to exit or uh, it has completed its critical section wants to go out from the critical section it will call the signal okay it will call the signal and will increase the number means semaphore variable by one. Okay. So now after exiting from the critical, let's say this is critical section, this laboratory. So after exiting from the critical section, it will again signal. Okay. It will signal that yes, laboratory is empty. So this is the explanation of binary semaphore. In the same way, counting semaphores are also implemented. So, but in that case, this laboratory is changed into one room. Okay. And we can, uh, we know that a room can contain more than one uh, person at one time. Okay. So there, after one pro uh, people is coming into room, one people is coming into room, then the uh, count will be decreased by one. And when the volume is full, okay, uh, the means uh, all the uh, all the persons which is up to the means volume of the room are being filled in the room then it will be engaged or the flag will be shown as engaged after exiting the room it will again signal that yes the room ca can uh, take one more people and two more people at this instant okay so this is an example of counting semaphore now there is one drawback of uh, what you can say that uh, binary semaphore or any type of semaphore 
it contains one drawback in its design okay what is that drawback is that busy waiting okay what is busy waiting as you can see here in while condition a process which is coming after first process will uh, always wait for the, uh, the first process to complete okay after this process uh, after this disadvantage we can discuss we have to come up with a solution for busy waiting okay so what busy waiting is that it will waste that cpu time that some other process might be able to use productively so this time which is being uh, means wasted in waiting for the process it will simply insert this process in its waiting queue okay so one more data structure which is known as waiting queue is implemented in this solution in the solution of busy waiting so what it will do is that in previous uh, solution the process which is coming after first process has to wait infinitely okay but in this process it will uh, come into waiting queue and it will be stored okay so the process 2 will be stored in this waiting queue if process 3 is also coming after process 2 it will also wait in waiting queue okay so after inserting the process in waiting queue it will be blocked so a block signal will be issued okay after process 1 is completed its execution in critical section this process 2 will again invoke or revoke okay so it is known as block and revoke uh, functionalities okay now this type of semaphore is called spin lock okay so in this you can see that uh, the process is spinning in these three commands while and s minus minus okay so because of this reason we also call this type of semaphore as spin lock process and to overcome the problem we extend the definition of semaphore so by what by implementing the waiting queue functionality now if it is interested to go to critical section process has to wait in waiting queue and it will be blocked after the critical section is empty it will be revoked okay so this is the functionality if the process is coming it will be s minus minus and it will be come into or inserted into the list okay so this is waiting queue after that it will be blocked that process will be blocked and all the process which has to means request or which has to take the resources critical section from the cpu they will be wake up okay revoke by the operating system by the use of signal function so s plus plus and the process will be wake up by the operating system in this way semaphores are implemented now we will talk about deadlocks and starvations okay so semaphores can implement those three functionalities mutual exclusion progress and bounded waiting but it is vulnerable to deadlocks and starvations how deadlock is being encountered is, is that let's say process 0 is waiting for any process s okay uh, means process 1 and it is waiting for any variable s okay and again process 1 is also waiting for any q variable or q resource okay so one is s resource semaphore s and one is semaphore q and uh, the process 0 is waiting for s and the process 1 is waiting for q okay in the next section this one is waiting for q and this one is waiting for s so uh, you can see that there is a cross mark which is being encountered in this implementation and they always wait for the second process to release the resources okay as this is waiting for s and this is waiting for q so they, uh, these always are encountered in deadlocked state so and because of this uh, any other process which is coming will be starved okay so the other thing is starvation if only one process is being uh, means uh, facilitated or serviced by the semaphores the other one will be starved so this is known as indefinite blocking or starvation so uh, let's read what it is being written uh, the implementation of semaphore with a waiting queue may re result in a situation where two or more processes are waiting okay so two or more processor are waiting 
for an event that can be caused only by one of the waiting process so this is known as this deadlock the other thing is indefinite blocking or starvation where the situation in which processes wait indefinitely within a semaphore indefinite blocking may occur if we add and remove processes from the list so if we add uh, any other process or if we remove just this process 0 then p1 will execute its functionality normally so in this way starving or deadlock is being solved now in next video we will discuss about producer consumer classical problem of semaphores